Hello, my loves. Welcome to your collective love reading. Um, for those of you who do not know what a collective reading is, it's just basically a reading that connects with a certain group of people, um, regardless of zodiac sign. I hope everybody is happy, safe, healthy, and doing well. I'd like to give a special shout out to my good friend Kimberly. She just started her own crystal shop, Kim K Crystals. Um, the information is below. She's got an amazing selection of crystals, um, manifestation crystals, protection crystals, bracelets, um, amethyst geodes, like the ones that I have up here. Really beautiful selection if you want to check her out. Um, special shout out to Quartz Rose Tarot, Lunar Logic uh, 1111. Um, jail tarot and tune in tarot recommended readers all the links are in the description box below okay um, guys I do a huge giveaway every single week you can check the description box below for all the details and how to enter the giveaway it's super simple just shoot me an email um, everything is in the description box below don't forget to like share comment subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced you don't want to win something and miss the shout out okay so let's go ahead and get shuffled up here, guys. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my collective, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for the collective, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for the collective, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides, please. Spirit. Um, and my loves, this deck I think has two, three of swords just in case it comes out. All right, so we have the Six of Wands. And we have the Star, Aquarian Energy. The Six of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy. The Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So this is an energy, guys, of I feel this is your glow up. I feel that you guys are looking good, feeling good. People are talking about you. People are actually gossiping about your success. Now, guys, this could be you going to work out. Maybe you changed your hair color. Maybe you're moving up in your career, but you have moved away from toxic shit okay and you're look you're just glowing for whoever i'm speaking for you're just happy i mean you know what i'm saying like you may not have a million dollars in the bank but you're just you found that that beautiful glow that light inside of you and i feel it's because you stopped giving to uh connections where there's no equal give and take you stop you cut out things in your life that didn't serve you you cut out things in your life that didn't serve you we have the tower aries scorpionic energy and we have the sun card leo energy one moment guys i'm so sorry about that guys okay so we have the tower and we have the sun card the eight of cups and the page of wands leo sag aries energy King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. So guys, here's the deal, all right? Here's the deal. I feel that it's like, it's like you had this awakening moment, right? Where you're just like, you know what? I'm just gonna focus on myself because no matter how much I do for people, no matter how much I give to people, no matter how much I work on other people's lives or trying to better them, better what they have going on, I don't ever reap anything from it. I don't reap love. I don't reap uh, reward. I don't reap, um, you know, appreciation. So I'm just gonna work on myself. And I feel like that really shook people because maybe you're, I, I'm honestly feeling that for whoever I'm reading for, you're one of those people that goes above and beyond for everyone else and you're always coming last you see what i'm saying and now that you have decided to love yourself first that you have decided to put yourself first you are shining like a damn diamond here 
You know what I'm saying? You're shining like a diamond. I mean, I'm literally looking at this card and I'm seeing a diamond, you know, because it's like because you have finally decided to take care of yourself. You understand? And now when you speak to people with that eight of cups and that page of wands, you're happy to see them. You're happy to talk to them. But emotionally, you love yourself so much. OK, you're putting so much time and effort into your own life that you are not quick to emotionally connect to people. So when you talk to people now, people don't feel that emotional codependence from you that, you know, because. All right. How can I put this? Let's backtrack here. When we get into relationships and we give and give and give in those relationships, the way people take that is not, oh, wow, this person is so loving. Look at what they're doing for me. No, they take it as codependency. Like, wow, you're doing all this for me after I did this to you. You must really be codependent right? You must really need me in your life if you're continuing. They don't, you know, and that's how the world works. I know that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But now when you talk to people, you come off as you respect yourself. I don't need to fall in love with you and I don't need to fall, you know, all head over heels and go crazy so that you'll love me because I love myself. You know what I'm saying? And with the King of Pentacles and the Judgment card, this is what's causing people now to come out of the woodwork and want a second chance with you. Okay, could possibly be a, a, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, or a Sag here. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. We've got a true pair on the board, King to Queen of Pentacles. Mm. And we have the Nine of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Hermit, Virgo energy. The Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. Man, guys, you have changed. You have changed. Okay, so there's a true pair here, okay? Now, I feel, though, that you've become a little more selfish, and I like it. I like it. I feel like you're taking care of yourself. You're doing you. You're worrying about your own wants and needs. And honestly, you're not really interested in a commitment anymore. You are not really interested in marriage. You're not really interested in taking care of anybody. You're just enjoying taking care of yourself so much that you're just like, marriage, what now? I don't need to be cleaning after you and taking care of you and doing whatever. You're like, you know what? I'm in peace. I'm resting. I'm really not interested in taking anyone's offer or apologies right now because I'm chill. I'm doing me. You know what I'm saying? But it's not coming from a place of maliciousness. It's not coming from a place of you wanting revenge or it's not coming... It's coming from a place of I'm just so happy in my own shoes right now that I don't even think I want a relationship right now. We have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I just heard Law of Attraction and the Ace of Cups. And because you're in this energy of, you know, I'm good loving me and I'm good. This is when people... Okay, you'll hear certain readers say, guys, if you want to attract love, you have to stop chasing love but loving yourself because when you love yourself you're showing the universe that you know you are deserving of love do you see what i'm saying because the more you put out into the world is what you get back so if you put out into the world that you pamper yourself and you take care of yourself and you love yourself now all of a sudden phew, out of nowhere everyone comes towards you loving you do you understand and this is what we have here someone rushing in with this beautiful cup of love you see what i'm saying so this is a perfect um example of the law of attraction you know what i'm saying you know how they say love always comes when you're not looking for it we have the two of wands and the three of swords we have the eight of swords and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So here's the deal, guys. We've got people rushing in, people who have hurt you with the Seven of Swords under the deck, people who have lied to you, stolen from you, taken advantage of your loving heart, are now rushing in, offering their full heart. But with the Two of Wands and the Three of Swords, you have to make a decision here, guys, because it's like, 
Okay, how can I put it? You're in this energy of, well, if I just lean on myself, I know I'm not going to break my heart. Do I want to go ahead right now and leave this peaceful place that I'm in and go give my heart to this person that has hurt me before? They already have a track record of breaking my heart. Do I want to choose to be single and in peace or do I want to choose to possibly have my heart broken? Okay, now it could also be that this person was in a third party situation. It could be that someone here previously chose someone else over you and now they're choosing you. Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're taking so long to make a decision here that somebody is straight up like stuck in their head because you're not jumping for people anymore. You're not jumping. You're not running for people anymore. You're telling this person, I don't know, I got to think about it. And they're, they're going nuts. They're infatuated because you're taking so long to answer. We have the Seven of Cups. You have so many people running towards you. I don't even feel that this is one particular person. I do feel that you have a strong soul tie. There's one person that stands out above the rest that you know, and you know who that is, is a strong soulmate, okay? Uh, but I feel like you've got multiple people multiple pe people are going to come either this person is coming in or multiple people to the point that you're going to be like confused and with that strength card leo energy you're kind of just holding back you're not really looking to make a decision right now and i feel because of that with the five of wands the eight of swords and the knight of pentacles that someone here because you're taking people are becoming obsessed People are becoming obsessed and rushing towards you. Knight of Wands. You become more, um, you become, you're making yourself more attractive because you're not chasing it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not chasing that energy and people are just, you know what I'm saying? They're running after you now. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please. Tell me about this Six of Wands. The Five of Cups. People are looking at you now, truly regretting what they've done to you because you're glowing. You're winning at life. And I feel that, you know what, guys? You're glowing and you're winning at life because you came from this dark place. You turn that pain into power. And with the star card and the world, you're shutting that chapter of your life where you allow people to ever put you in that position again. You are in control of your own life. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You have smartened up. You're learning to protect yourself. You're learning how to guard yourself and your energy. And you're, you're moving on. You're moving to more peaceful waters. Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Now you're the one juggling people. Now you're the one where people are like, wow, should I go up to her or him? Do you think I stand a chance? Like, you know what I'm saying? Whereas before, when people would think of you, they would think, I know they're sitting at home waiting for me, staring at the phone for me to call. I could go do whatever I want because so-and-so is sitting at home waiting for me. No, now when people look at you, they're like, man, should I ask them out there? I don't even know if they'll say yes to me. You know what I'm saying? You've made yourself unattainable. You know what I'm saying? It's funny that I should mention diamonds because diamonds are expensive because they're rare, right? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like before you treated yourself less than you see what I'm saying you treated yourself less than you made yourself more um you made yourself more attainable easily attainable do you see what I'm saying so you were a diamond disguise you know what I'm saying you're you're a diamond disguised as like a penny or a nickel or a quarter where they're everywhere do you see oh yeah I know so and so will always be there I could go pick it up whenever I want you know what I'm saying now it's like wow I don't know if I have a shot with so and so do you see the difference you see what I'm saying page of swords a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Now when people look at you, they're realizing that there's a very big chance that they may get rejected. People are watching you like, wow, will they give me the time of day? Well, do you think they'll talk to me? You know what I'm saying? You've made yourself more uh, valuable. The Tower and the Seven of Swords, the Sun card, and the nine of wands. Guys, I feel here that it's going to be a huge shock because you have had a lot of people around you that were lying to you, taking from you, taking advantage of you, and it's real and you're tired of it. And it's really going to be a huge shock because you see them. You see who these people are and you're cutting them out of your life. Page of wands and the six of swords and the eight of cups. And the five of pentacles, you're leaving them behind. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, I love you. I love you. But shop is closed. ATM is closed. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the person who was, you know, an idiot here, just giving and giving and giving and getting nothing in return has left the building. 
I've we left the building. Okay. We're done now. We're done now. Sorry. I don't feel shit for nobody. I got to go to the gym. I don't feel shit for nobody. I got to go worry about myself. Oh, what do you need? A sandwich? Well, sorry, because I'm heading out to Red Lobster. I'll, talk, I'll get you when I come back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't care anymore. You don't care anymore. You're worried about yourself and only yourself. And that's good to be that way sometimes, guys, especially when you've reached a point of giving and being so selfless, okay, and being so selfless that you're always putting yourself last. Now, I want you to understand something here. I'm Christian, so I'm going to throw this out there, okay? You don't have to be Christian, but it's it's a good story, okay? In the Bible, Jesus feeds, I'm sure everyone has heard this at some point or another, Jesus feeds thousands of people with like five fish and two loaves of bread or vice versa. It was something like that. The next morning, Jesus crosses the river, the Jordan River, and goes up to the hill there. The disciples are the next to follow, and then all these thousands of people follow after. And Jesus stands up and he says, you know what? You're not here because you love me. You're here for the food. And all these people bow their head and they leave. So if Jesus Christ himself is not going to allow himself to be taken advantage of, why should you? You see what I'm saying? Why should you? King of Pentacles, please, Spirit. We've got the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. Tell me about the Judgment card and the Ace of Swords. So now because you have started respecting yourself and loving yourself, now we have this Emperor Energy that's waking up to, man, I should give this another chance. You think they'll take me back? But why do they want another chance? Because now they're wondering, wow, will they take me back? Am I going to win this or whatever? Whereas before this Emperor was always in this energy of, yeah, they're sitting at home waiting for me. Do you see what I'm saying? Two of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. You're in the process of cutting people out of your life because you're worried about yourself. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. People send you messages. You don't even answer. I'm getting my nails done. I'm getting my beard trimmed. I'm out. I'm doing shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You are slow to give to others right now because you're focusing on filling your own cups, guys. You see what I'm saying? Hierophant, please. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pir Pisces energy. It's not that you listen, you still got love for everybody. I'm not saying that you've turned into like a demon. You know what I'm saying? You still got love for everybody, but you're learning how to rein it in. You're learning how to um, accept divine guidance. Okay, with the Hermit card and the Five of Wands, you're learning to withdraw from people that cause drama or bring drama into your life. And with the Four of Cups and the Hanged Man, Piscean energy, you're putting everything on hold for a minute. Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups. You've come to this realization that in order for you to have a healthy relationship, you have to heal. You have to heal. And because you have taken the time out to focus on yourself and to heal, you look like a damn diamond. You're shining, baby. You are shining. Okay? And people are gazing at you, looking at you, you know. Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. The magician, Virgo Gemini energy. Now people are coming towards you. They want to manifest. They're wishing. You got people talking to Jesus to be like, oh my God, will they please talk to me? You see what I'm saying? The sun card and the ace of cups. Leo energy. People see you now. People see you now. Two of wands and temperance, Sagittarian energy. Listen, you're not quick to make decisions anymore. This person may have came back, you know what I'm saying, to reconcile with you in the past. Oh my God, yes, I'll take you back. Of course I'll take you back. You know what I'm saying? Now you're like, eh, let's Listen, I don't know, dude. I'm busy today. You know what I'm saying? Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. I'm kind of tired of people screwing me over and breaking my heart. And you've already done it so many times before. You know, you've played games and all this other shit. And I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? It's like this, this shit of you going out and being a player and then coming back, offering me commitment. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like we've played this game before and I don't really know if I want to keep playing. Yep. See, look, Six of Cups. Six of Cups. You've got this X in their freaking head, man. <laughs> You've got them in their head, but you're not doing it on purpose. You're not. I just want to make it clear. You're not doing this on purpose. Knight of Pentacles and the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. You're making this person wait for your decision. And Eight of Swords, they are stuck in their damn head. Why? Because they don't understand what the hell is going on. You're normally the first person to run, take that leap of faith, and jump back into a commitment. You know I'm saying like you're usually begging them for a commitment and now you're like listen I can I call you later I'll call you later my turtle's barking I gotta go bye <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like you're just like are you not really wanting to deal with it seven of cups and the ace of pentacles um 
you may have more than one ex coming towards you guys or you may have this one ex and you know what i'm saying they're just confused because they want to start this new beginning with you and normally you're right there but you see you're being divinely guided here with the hierophant taurus energy to hold back to pull back to focus on yourself five of wands and the seven of wands the more you push these people away the more competitive they're going to get and crazy they're going to get about wanting to hold on to you and with the devil card here and the six of pentacles oh how the those tables have turned people are getting really freaking pissed because remember here how you're cutting off unequal give and take now you're the one who's not giving and they're the one who's having to like you're the one taking you're taking all this attention and not giving it the tables have turned someone here oh maybe someone here is paying their karma guys we've got libra energy and the queen of wands maybe someone here is paying their karma for going off with the third party it could be leo sagittarius energy just saying okay someone here may be coming in someone here may be coming in with an apology for cheating for being toxic for being deceptive now offering uh stability wanting to make you their empress there you are cancerian energy with the emperor to the empress right here maybe someone's coming in now really realizing that they had their little ego death here that you know what i'm saying they learned their lesson with the you're not doing this though you're not like doing this on purpose to teach this per person a lesson i feel like it's just divinely guided it's happening this way and it's happening to you know it's divinely guided you're you're learning your worth and now this person is learning your their worth and they are paying karmic justice for what they did but that's through the divine you're not the one doing that you're just being divinely guided to love yourself and they are losing their freaking mind because you're not jumping anymore you're not there be at their beck and call anymore they're losing their damn mind and it is what it is so let's um let's go into the extended and let's see what you're gonna do here well, well let's see what's gonna happen with this ex and let's see what's gonna happen if you continue on this road of loving yourself if there's gonna be new love coming in gotta be honest we've got the emperor to the empress the king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles i do feel like this is a true pair um so you know let's see what happens so we'll see what happens with this ex and we'll also do one for new love for those of you who are like listen g not gonna happen i'm moving on <laughs> you know what i'm saying so we'll We'll do new love and we'll do for those of you who may possibly want to reconcile okay i love you guys bye